Space, the final frontier. According to Star Trek, but it's a pretty big frontier to say the least, and so far the part we know the most about is, well, our planet. But even then, do we really know what's going on in the place where we live? Turns out that when you look at it from the outside, things can seem a little bit different. From the shipwreck treasure map to the planet hidden inside our planet, here's the 20 most incredible space discoveries to blow your mind. <sighs> Number 20. Gordon Cooper, famous astronaut and his shipwreck treasure map. On the Discovery Channel's new docu-series, Cooper's Treasure, professional treasure hunter Daryl Miklos is on the trail of an unbelievable discovery, a series of shipwrecks, hundreds of them in fact, discovered by the late astronaut Gordon Cooper during a space expedition. Miklos and his team are tasked with locating and preserving the treasure. Yes, there is a treasure map to be found. Cooper developed a reputation as a serial record breaker during his stint at the NASA Ames Research Center. Sadly, Cooper died unexpectedly in 2004 from heart failure, but not before providing Miklos with critical information. While on the Mercury 9 Faith 7 mission in 2003, Cooper identified a sequence of anomalies that he believed to be shipwrecks. This knowledge proved to be life-changing for Miklos. When the astronaut returned to Earth, he began a decades-long study process that included creating a map of his discoveries and hunting down any information he could find about which lost ships could be associated with the areas he had seen during his mission. Miklos is now retracing his steps to where he left off before. NASA astronauts returns with chilling information about Earth. This is the story. I'm probably the only person on the planet that's in this particular situation, Miklos told reporters. It's a one-off story. There is nothing like it. I doubt there will be anything like it in the future, and I'm extremely fortunate to have been gifted this information from a friend of mine who entrusted me with this. I think we're about to embark on something so historical. It's definitely going to make news. Cooper, according to Miklos, said that he discovered the wealth while using technology designed to detect nuclear dangers based on magnetic abnormalities in the environment. In the first episode of the series, which starts on April 18th, Miklos adds that Cooper detected many abnormalities that were too tiny to be nuclear silos. He quickly determined that there must be shipwrecks and began searching for them. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Ancient planet hides inside Earth for 4 billion years. Researchers believe that a planet named Thea collided with the proto-Earth 4.5 billion years ago, giving us our beloved satellite, the Moon. The fact surrounding Thea's destiny, on the other hand, remain unknown. Was it a hit and run, or did the two planets' mantles combine? Jen Wan, an Earth scientist at Arizona State University, and colleagues have proposed a fresh line of evidence to support the latter idea, claiming that Thea not only merged with Earth, but that we may even know where the remnants of its mantle are located on the planet. Many studies of the large impact theory compare pair isotopes found on the moon to those found on Earth. Their comparable compositions show that the moon is made up of a chunk of old Earth, implying that it was thrown off our pale blue dot by a massive impact. The impactor, Thea, was once thought to be approximately the size of Mars, half the size of Earth today. According to some recent research, it might have been four times the size of Mars, or about the size of the proto-Earth. In any case, most scientists think that Thea's core, its densest section, joined with Earth's core remarkably swiftly after the collision in a matter of hours. Number 18. Ice Volcanoes 
The Dawn space probe was launched 11 years ago, with the objective of looking for evidence about how our solar system began by studying minor celestial bodies in the asteroid belt. Dawn has been orbiting Ceres, the biggest asteroid in the belt, for the last three years and a recent study of the probe's photos has revealed something spectacular. Hundreds of old ice volcanoes on the dwarf planet. Scientists refer to ice volcanoes as cryptovolcanoes, which are volcanoes that spew water, methane, or ammonia, which then freeze in frigid temperatures following the eruption. They've been discovered on Pluto, Saturn's moon Titan, and Jupiter's moon Europa. Scientists aren't sure what produces them, and we've known about at least one cryptovolcano on Ceres for a long time. Some of Don's early photographs of the dwarf planet revealed the Hunamans, a 13,000-foot-high mountain that towers over the rest of the dwarf planet. Scientists were first perplexed by a Hunamans mix of magnitude and isolation. Why is there nothing else on Ceres like it? A recent study published this week in Nature Astronomy proposes an answer. There were probably many more cryovolcanoes in the last billion years, but they've gone dormant and degraded. Although Ahuna Mons is assumed to be inactive, it is nevertheless extremely tall because of its youth. Scholars estimate it to be 240 million years old at most. One of the other domes they discovered is estimated to be around 1.9 billion years old. Number 17. NASA discovers a strange Earth-like planet with unknown atmosphere. The University of New Mexico and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory have identified a new planet that is three times the size of Earth. According to NASA scientists, the planet TOY-1231b is 90 light-years distant from Earth. According to The Independent, NASA identified exoplanet TOI-1231b circling a M-dwarf star, commonly known as a red dwarf. Because the red dwarf if itself is less powerful, the planet, a temperature sub-Neptune-sized entity with a 24-day orbit, has a temperature similar to our Earth. The planet's atmosphere is roughly 330 Kelvin, or 56.85 degrees Celsius according to NASA's scientists, making it one of the coldest, tiny exoplanets identified to date for atmospheric research. Clouds might be present high in the atmosphere, according to NASA scientists. They also speculate that the planet may have traces of water, according to NASA experts. The planet TOI-1231b might have a thick water vapor atmosphere, or a massive hydrogen or hydrogen helium atmosphere. Each of these would help astronomers understand how planets near M dwarfs vary from planets around our Sun in terms of formation. The new planet is strange, according to NASA experts, but it's one step closer to becoming like Earth. NASA JPL scientist Jennifer Burt said that one of the most intriguing results of the last two decades of exoplanet science is that, thus far, none of the new planetary systems we've discovered look anything like our own solar system. Number 16. Liquid-Filled Canyons on Titan the Cassini mission discovered vast, steep-sided canyons inundated with liquid hydrocarbons on Saturn's moon Titan. The discovery is the first direct evidence of liquid-filled pathways on Titan, as well as the first sightings of canyons hundreds of meters deep. Scientists studied Cassini data from a near flyby the spacecraft conducted over Titan in May 2013 in a new research published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters. Cassini's radar sensor was focused on channels that branched out from the huge Northern Sea Lygia Mare during the flyby. The Cassini studies indicate that the channels, particularly a network known as Vidflumina, are small canyons with slopes steeper than 40 degrees and a width of less than half a mile. The canyons are also fairly deep. From top to bottom, they measure 790 to 1,870 feet. In radar photographs, the 
branching channels seem black, similar to Titan's methane-rich oceans. This prompted scientists to believe that the passageways may be filled with liquid as well, but no direct discovery has been made until recently. It was previously unclear if the black stuff was liquid or just saturated silt, which would be formed of ice rather than rock at Titan's freezing temperatures. Number 15. NASA's Chandra X-ray Telescope recently found ultra-massive black holes. A multinational team of astrophysicists was able to locate what it thought to be the most enormous black hole yet observed in the cosmos using data collected by NASA's Chandra X-ray instrument on galaxies up to 3.5 billion light-years distant from Earth. These ultra-massive black holes are developing faster than the stars in their individual galaxies, according to the team's estimates. Julie Halava Cech Larando, professor in the Department of Physics at Université de Montréal, and Mar Mesquiwa, postdoctoral fellow at the Institute of Space Sciences in Spain, studied 72 galaxies at the center of the universe's brightest and most massive galaxy cluster, and their search for black holes, which was published in monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. By examining the radio wave and X-ray emissions of the black holes found in these galaxy clusters, the researchers were able to compute their masses. The findings revealed that the masses of ultra-massive black holes are around 10 times higher than those previously estimated, using a different technique that assumes black holes develop in lockstep with their host galaxies. Further more, nearly half of the black holes in the sample are thought to have at least 10 billion times the mass of our sun. This places them in a category of extreme heavyweights known as ultramassive black holes by some astronomers. Number 14. Scientists captured two neuron stars crashing into each other in 2017. The most intensely observed astronomical event to date was the collision of two neuron stars, which was accompanied by vibrations across the fabric of space-time and a flare brighter than a billion suns. The Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory in the United States was the first to notice the astonishing sequence in which the two ultra-dense stars spiraled inwards, violently collided, and in all likelihood instantaneously collapsed into a black hole. An alarm went out to astronomers all across the world when its twin detectors in Louisiana and Washington state picked up ripples in spacetime that had poured out from the merger 130 million light-years distant. 70 space and ground-based telescopes swiveled within hours to witness the red-tinged afterglow, making it the first cosmic event to be seen in both gravitational waves and light. Although I Einstein predicted the presence of gravitational waves over a century ago, it took until 2015 for the first scientific confirmation that space itself can be stretched and compressed when LIGO scientists discovered a black hole collision. However, conventional telescopes were unable to detect this dark merging, as well as the subsequent three. As the stars collided this time, they released a powerful burst of gamma rays, showering the sky with heavy elements and and putting an end to a decades-long argument over where gold and platinum came from. Number 13. Mega Tsunami Evidence Found on Mars According to a new analysis of impact craters discovered on Mars's surface, if the red planet had water it might have undergone a mega tsunami that sculpted the world. Today, Mars is a frigid and dry planet, yet many scientists believe it formerly held liquid water. According to a new analysis of impact craters discovered on Mars' surface, if the red planet had water, it might have undergone a mega-tsunami that sculpted the world. This research focuses on locating impact craters that affected the water and are thought to have caused the tsunami. The study looked at a meteor impact site named Lomonosov, which is 120 kilometers deep, the same depth as the ocean's estimated depth. 
The impact crater closely mirrors comparable marine impact sites on Earth, leading experts to assume that this particular impact site was the epicenter of the mega-tsunami that would have swept over Mars's surface. Researchers assume that the breach in the crater's southern lip was caused by the ocean rushing back from that direction. Number 12. Lovejoy Comet Expels Alcohol and Sugar For the first time in history, astronomers have observed a comet emitting ethyl alcohol, the same sort of alcohol found in your liquor cupboard. The discovery of alcohol on Comet Lovejoy, as well as a simple sugar called glycolaldehyde, and 19 other organic compounds, adds to the growing body of evidence suggesting comets were the source of the elements needed for life to emerge on Earth. We found that Comet Lovejoy was releasing as much alcohol as in at least 500 bottles of wine every second during its peak activity," said lead researcher Nicolas Biver from the Paris Observatory in France. Comet Lovejoy was detected in August 2014 and made its closest approach to the sun on January 30th of this year. The high heat of the collision resulted in the emission of multiple clouds of gas into the surrounding environment, as well as the sweating out of water molecules at an incredible pace of 18 tons per second. Using observations from the Pico Valeta radio telescope in Spain, Biver and his colleagues were able to determine the composition of this gas. The sun's part in the finding wasn't merely to warm the comet's surface sufficiently for it to leak chemical composition indications. The interaction of sunlight with molecules in the comet's atmosphere causes them to glow at certain microwave frequencies, and it is these microwave glows that reveal reveal the molecule's exact characteristics, allowing scientists to identify them. Number 11. NASA Researchers Find Evidence of Planet-Building Clumps NASA scientists have discovered the first evidence that clumps of space dust the size of golf balls constituted the building blocks of our terrestrial planets. A new paper from planetary scientists at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, and NASA's Ames Research Center in Silicon Valley, California, provides evidence for an astrophysical theory known as pebble accretion, in which golf ball-sized clumps of space dust collided to form tiny planets planets known as planetesimals during the early stages of planetary formation. The examination of two ancient meteorites, Allende and Northwest Africa 5717, that originated in the pre-planetary epoch of the solar system and have remained virtually unchanged since that time, gives evidence of a widespread, probably universal, dust-adhering mechanism. Scientists have determined that these meteorites are older than the Earth, Moon, and Mars, implying that they have stayed untouched from the solar system's inception. The meteorites utilized in this study are so ancient that they're frequently used to determine the age of the solar system. Electron microscope photos and high-resolution photomicrographs of the meteorites revealed that particles within the meteorite slices appeared to congregate together in 3 to 4 centimeter clumps. The presence of the clumps proves that the meteorites were formed by the clustering of golf ball-sized particles, implying that the process might have occurred for other things as well. Number 10. Possibility of Life on Jupiter's Moon the hunt for extraterrestrial life has taken numerous avenues. Mars, our neighboring planet, appears to have previously been livable. Possibly Venus, too, despite its present terrifying state. In recent years, though, scientists' attention has been directed elsewhere. What about Jupiter's satellites? Three of Jupiter's four biggest moons are frozen, and NASA's Galileo probe discovered signs of an ocean underneath one of them, Europa, in 1998. Further research has discovered traces of water plumes possibly emerging from this ocean since then. Ganymede and Callisto, the other two giant cold moons, are likewise expected to contain seas under their surfaces. New issues have arisen, such as if there is life on these moons, if there is water, 
Is it possible for us to seek for it? The Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, often known as JUICE, is a spacecraft that the European Space Agency plans to deploy to Jupiter in 2022 to help answer that issue. It will sail by Europa and Callisto many times before entering orbit around Ganymede in 2032 to 2034, making it the first spacecraft to orbit a moon other than Earth's moon. It will return crucial data to Earth at this period. Scientists are already researching these moons for indicators of habitability and preparing for the data that will be returned by the expedition before it ever arrives. Number 9. Star-Sucking Black Holes for the first time, material filaments wrapped around a supermassive black hole have been discovered, indicating that a star trapped by a black hole's gravity has been annihilated through spaghettification. The phenomenon, also known as tidal disruption, is thought to occur because the black hole's gravity pushes on the side of the star closest to the black hole more forcefully. The black hole breaks the star apart before sucking in its mass, transforming it into a lengthy filament. Previously, the only proof of a star colliding violently with a galaxy center came in the form of brief bursts of electromagnetic radiation emitted by supermassive black holes, which scientists infrequently saw. Scientists have just recently discovered evidence of a physical filament from a star in the neighborhood of the black hole. A team of astronomers from the Netherlands Institute for Space Research and Rad at Boud University in the Netherlands, discovered such a spaghettified star in spectral absorption lines around the poles of a distant black hole in this new study which was published in the journal Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Absorption lines are abnormally dark lines found in the otherwise continuous spectrum of electromagnetic radiation released by a source, such as a black hole. When material that absorbs a portion of electromagnetic radiation, in this example, the spaghettified star, obscures the source, these lines appear. Number 8. In 2016, an ice layer bigger than New Mexico was discovered on Mars. According to a new research, a massive layer of buried ice on Mars has almost the same amount of water as Lake Superior on Earth. The ice layer, which covers an area larger than New Mexico, is located in Mars's mid-northern latitudes and is only covered by 3 to 33 feet of dirt. According to study team members, this signifies a tremendous potential resource for future humans investigating Mars. This deposit is probably more accessible than most water ice on Mars, because it is at a relatively low latitude and it lies in a flat, smooth area where land a spacecraft would be easier than at some of the other areas with buried ice. Co-author Jack Holt of the University of Texas Austin said in a statement, the team, led by Cassie Sturman of the University of Texas's Institute for Geophysics, looked at images of Mars's Utopia Planitia area taken by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's ground-penetrating shallow radar instrument. They chose this location because Utopia Planitia has scalloped depressions that resemble landscapes above buried ice in the Canadian Canadian Arctic. Number 7. Astronomers have discovered an exoplanet ring system that puts Saturn's rings to shame. Astronomers studying the dimming of a nearby sun-like star over time have concluded that their data point to an eclipse by a massive exoplanet's intricate ring system, which is akin to Saturn's but much, much larger. Furthermore, the ring's apparent gaps and varied densities suggest the presence of at least one huge exomoon, if not more, in the process of development. This planet is much larger than Jupiter or Saturn, and its ring system is roughly 200 times larger than Saturn's rings are today, said Eric Mamajek, professor of physics and astronomy at the University of Rochester in New York. You could think of it as kind of a super Saturn. J1 
407 is a 116 light year distant main sequence orange dwarf star. J1407 had a complex series of profound eclipses over the course of 57 days in spring 2007, which an international team of scientists believes is the outcome of a ring system around the giant circling exoplanet J1407b. The observations were performed as part of the Super WASP initiative, which employs ground-based telescopes to look for modest star dimming caused by transiting exoplanets. Mama Jack led the first investigation of eclipses and the possible presence of the ring system, which was published in 2012. The number of primary ring structures is estimated to be 37, with a wide and clearly defined gap located at roughly 37.9 million miles out from the Super Saturn that may shelter a satellite nearly as massive as Earth with a two-year orbital period. Number 6. The Senestia Theory According to a 2017 research published in the Journal of Geophysical Research, Planets, Earth may have been a Senestia about 4.5 billion years ago, a short-lived hot mass that can be donut-shaped. Scientists think that these celestial objects develop when two planet-sized bodies crash, which might explain how the moon formed. Senestia is a donut-shaped mass of vaporized rock that is thought to be quickly spinning. Sarah T. Stewart Mukhopadhyay gave it the name Hestia, goddess of the hearth, with the suffix sin meaning together. If the total angular momentum is larger than the co-rotational limit, a synestia can arise in computer models of enormous collisions of spinning objects. The velocity of the equator of a body would surpass the orbital velocity beyond the co-rotational limit, the consequence of a synestia in a single-rate revolving inner zone with a loosely linked torus circling beyond it. Synestias also has different mantles than prior terrestrial evolution models, both in terms of temperature and composition, due to a lower inner pressure. Within the giant impact concept, Synestia was an early stage procedure for the formation of the Earth and Moon, according to scientists. A Synestia developed in that model after a collision with a high energy, high angular momentum item. The boiling point of granite, about 2000. 300K limits the surface temperatures of the Synestia. Number 5. Water on the Moon Water found on the moon is known as lunar water. NASA's SOFIA Observatory revealed in 2020 that diffuse water molecules may exist on the moon's bright surface. Sunlight gradually decomposes water vapor, releasing hydrogen and oxygen into space. Water ice has been discovered in the chilly, continuously shadowed craters near the moon's poles, according to scientists. NASA then detected water on the moon's sunlit surface, adding to the enigma surrounding the lunar surface. In 2018, scientists discovered ice on the moon's north and south poles, but the latest discoveries established the presence of water molecules, the same H2O we know on Earth. NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, a converted Boeing 747SP airliner with a strong telescope that picked up the wavelength of water molecules in the Moon's Clavius crater, made the finding. Water-bearing comets colliding with the Moon and in-situ manufacturing are two possible sources of lunar water. It's been hypothesized that the latter happened happens when hydrogen ions in the solar wind react chemically with oxygen atoms in lunar materials, resulting in minute quantities of water trapped in the crystal lattices. Number 4. Kepler Telescope Found New Planets Better Than Earth at least a half dozen planets beyond our solar system may be more suitable for life than Earth. Researchers reported in the journal Astrobiology that these worlds are a bit older, a little wetter, a little warmer, and a little bigger than Earth. Because of all these qualities, several of these planets may be the finest areas to look for extraterrestrial life. We have to focus on certain planets that have the most promising conditions for complex life, However, we have to be careful to not get stuck looking for a second Earth, because there could be planets that 
might be more suitable for life than ours, University of Washington astrobiologist Dirk schultz mackick said in a statement. Exoplanets or planets outside our solar system have been identified by astronomers in large numbers. The majority of these aren't really suited to living. Planet Kelt 9b, for instance, is so hot that its atmosphere is continually dissolving, TRES 2b, the darkest known planet, with a temperature of 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit in its atmosphere. GJ433d, regarded by its discoverers as the coldest Neptune-like planet ever identified, lies on the other extreme of the uninhabitable spectrum. However, many planets exist inside their star's habitable zone, or the just-right distance that allows life to emerge at surface temperatures that aren't too hot or too cold. Number 3. Halloween Meteor a dead comet with an unsettling resemblance to a skull approached Earth at a distance of 300,000 miles on October 31st, 2015. The Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico noticed it on radar maps. This cosmic body, dubbed 2015 TB145, reappeared in November 2018, just missing Halloween. Humans have been seeing comets for millennia according to ancient sources such as Chinese oracle bones. Until the 15th century, comets were thought to be bad omens of kings or noblemen's deaths, impending disasters, or even as attacks by celestial entities on Earth's population. Aristotle, 384 to 322 BC, was the first known scientist to use a systematic, organized cosmological explanation of comets based on numerous hypotheses and observable findings. Due to the fact that that comets might emerge outside of the zodiac and change in brightness over the course of a few days, he felt they were atmospheric phenomena. Everything in the cosmos is ordered in a specific pattern according to Aristotle's observation and cosmological theory. Seneca the Younger questioned Aristotle's argument on comets in the first century AD. They can't be atmospheric because of their steady movement and resistance to wind and they're more permanent than their quick flashes across the sky imply. Halley's Comet is shown in the 11th century Bayeu Tapestry, foreshadowing Harold's death and the Norman victory at the Battle of Hastings. Number 2. The Sun's Twin Nemesis Nemesis is a hypothetical red dwarf or brown dwarf that was first proposed in 1984 to explain a perceived cycle of mass extinctions in the geological record, which seems to occur frequently at intervals of 26 million years. It orbits the Sun at a distance of about 1.5 light years just beyond the Oort cloud. More than 1,800 brown dwarfs have been discovered as of 2012, our cosmic backyard. There are actually actually fewer brown dwarfs than originally supposed. Instead of one star for each brown dwarf, there might be up to six stars per brown dwarf. Single stars make up the vast bulk of solar-type stars. The prior hypothesis indicated that half, if not all, stellar systems were binary, trinary, or multiple star systems associated with clusters of stars rather than the single star systems most commonly observed. Sarah Sadovoy and Steven Staller suggest in a 2017 research that the Sun was most likely formed as part of a binary system, leading them to speculate that there definitely was a nemesis a long time ago. Number 1. Cosmic Microwave Background in Big Bang cosmology, the cosmic microwave background is electromagnetic radiation that is a leftover from an early period of the cosmos, also known as relic radiation. The CMB is a feeble kind of cosmic background radiation that pervades all of space. It is a vital source of information about the early universe, since it is the cosmos' earliest electromagnetic radiation, dating back to the recombination epoch. The region between stars stars and galaxies, the background, is totally black in a typical optical telescope. A sufficiently sensitive radio telescope, on the other hand, detects a weak background noise or light that is nearly isotropic and unrelated to any star, galaxy, or other object. 
the microwave section of the radio spectrum has the brightest radiance. The discovery of the CMB by American radio astronomers Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson in 1965 was the conclusion of work begun in the 1940s, and the discoverers were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1978. The CMB is a key piece of evidence of the universe's Big Bang origin. So what do you think is lurking out there in space? Are you going to set up a giant radio telescope in your backyard to try and discover life on another planet? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.